Hello lads, welcome back to the channel. It's our live for set play game we're doing the FIFA 14 career mode flashback with York City and Barry Ferguson. And you remember a couple of days ago we started March 2013 schedule. We've got three games out of the way. We've got another three games today to wrap up March and we'll check out the league table. So let's have a look at the action and see how we get on in today's episode. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League Two. It's York City against Northampton Town. Of course, the game being played under lights this evening. So without further ado, we're off to the stadium. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Really snatched at the shot, and it's gone well wide. What a chance! Well blocked. He's got space, but he has a go. Corner given. To this move, but he should let the move go on. Now Morris. Oh! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Play from them. Close range shot. For goal, very good defending to get in the way of that shot. Well, this attack in with the chance. What a goal! Absolutely fantastic play from a fantastic team, and wow, that's a goal that really rubber stamps all their credentials. Well, it's been men against boys out there, Martin, hasn't it? Such a professional performance. Goal news from Cheltenham. It's a goal for Rackington Stanley. 60 minutes played, 1 1. Thanks, Alan. Could be a goal. That's a penalty, it had to be. But they won't be so worried about the yellow card, but the penalty kick, they most certainly will. What a blow. Taker, and he showed it there. Really, really cool strike that. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League Two. It's Hartlepool United against York City. Of course, the game being played under lights this evening. So without further ado, we take you to Hartlepool. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away. And now can he score? Oh! I'll get the shot out, it's still in play. On the attack here. Look at the skill there, Alan. Well, that is the type of skill that can win football matches. And in goes the cross. Oh, oh it's the post! Walton. What a chance here. And it's a... Oh! Attacking now. It's decent attacking play. Good skill with the ball to beat a man. And he's wide, just wide, with the header. Maybe the cross. Supported through the centre. It's a chance! Now they're passing the ball well. Shots on here. He's got space. Made the challenge well. And the cross comes in now. Press well. Dives away the keeper to keep it out. Take the penalty now and to score the penalty. Jarvis. Oh, in goes the cross. Well, the defender panicking there. He just got the ball away. Headed on and 
anticipated well. Brilliant opening. Could it be? And they've scored the equaliser. The goal they wanted. They're level again. Let's take another look at the goal. Possession wasn't everything today. Because the team with less of the ball managed to get a draw from this. Yeah, the possession isn't always nine tenths of the law. They didn't take the chances and uh, they go away disappointed. Hello and welcome to League Two. It's York City against Chesterfield. Of course, the lights are beaming down this evening. So let's go straight to the ground. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. On the attack here, Joyce, return pass, what a chance here, oh, good reflexes by the goalkeeper. I don't like to use the word panic, but and here's the shot, the keeper really stretched and he's made a fine diving save. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. He's in at goal, here's the chance. What we've come to see that's a brilliant goal it's the perfect break from their point of view and very skillfully finished when he had time to think about it he kept his nerve and when you have got time martin it can be more difficult but he kept his composure too Braswell. good forward play from them there's the ball in goes for goal threw himself in front of the shot Good block. Well, it's down to the referee to stop the substitution. It's difficult for him. He hasn't been playing well, and this is a case of adding injury to insult, if you like. And the referee's read that perfectly. They can play on, even though it was a foul. Yeah, I think he's going to get a yellow card after this move, but he should let the move go on. Well, we've got an injured player now, and the referee has called a halt. And because, obviously, the, uh, the team that are visiting today won the reverse match, so... They've got a little bit of a psychological edge, but of course they're uh, a fair way away from home. Yeah, they are, and uh, you know, as we know, psychologically it has an a great opportunity. Back, back off the post. Oh, it has to be. Good attacking play, but the clearance is equal to the task, really. Oh, in goes the cross. That deflection off the defender was crucial to the goal. He moved in there, really determined to get his head on it and look at the net bulge. Yeah, there was good power on the cross and it was begging to be buried and he really did it justice, didn't he? Well, if you've got somebody as strong in the air as this lad, you're going to feed him balls in, aren't you? And his teammates know that and they really have profited from it as well. What a finish. He's got the defenders caught in two minds, he's through them. Decisive save. Well, in the end, as close as the scoreline suggests, Alan. Yeah, I think so. It was difficult over the course of the 90 minutes to separate these two. I don't think either really deserved to win. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Portsmouth with 78 points. In second, Scunthorpe United with 75 points. In third, Chesterfield with 74 points. In fourth, Cheltenham Town with 72 points. In fifth, Bristol Rovers with 68 points. In sixth, Hartlepool United with 67 points. In seventh, Bury with 66 points. In eighth, Plymouth Argyle with 62 points. Bottom of the table, Dagenham and Redbridge with 21 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Burton Albion with 31 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, Wickham Wanderers with 31 points. Fourth bottom, Torquay United with 37 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fifth bottom, Rochdale with 37 points, with a game in hand on the team above. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the two draws leaving us 18 to staying away from those bottom five teams, which is our objective for this season. 
and when we come back in a couple of days we'll be starting april the final running uh, to the end of the season if you're enjoying the episodes please consider subscribing and check out the playlist i'll see you guys in a couple of days